With all of the wild rumors and speculations over Catherine, Princess of Wales and her location, where's she at, what's she doing? I thought we'd, we'd refocus the narrative and maybe discuss some facts today. Handbag facts. Today we're going to be diving into her handbag collection and seeing its evolution over her period here in the public eye. There's going to be some pretty stark contrast to Princess Diana, who I covered back in December. It, it's going to be kind of neat to see how Princess Kate's style differs from Princess Diana's and what that kind of means for the modern monarchy. But before we dive into all that, hey guys, my name's Caleb. I post luxury and lifestyle related content when every Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. So if that's something you're into, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Consider joining our membership. We have an awesome engaged community, discord, member meetups, early access to new videos. You name it, it's going to be on the membership. Now, like I was saying, Catherine, Princess of Wales or Kate, as we all call her here in the States, has a, a just an impeccable style. Like this is a woman who really has like her style, her aesthetic nailed down to a T. Her handbags play a big part in that. Now, when she first started in the public eye, we saw her with a lot of teeny tiny little clutch bags, and she slowly evolved to, well, larger clutch bags, mostly midi top handles. And something that I really love for Kay is that she has an affinity for all types of brands. We're talking anywhere from Aspinall all the way up to Alexander McQueen, Hermes, Chanel. So she runs a pretty good gambit. And today we're going to be diving in and we're going to be kicking it off with the Midi Mayfair from Aspinall of London. We see these two bags from Aspinall of London the most, hands down, without a doubt, we see these a lot. Now the Midi Mayfair, it comes in a variety of colors and materials. She really gravitates towards the same bag in two colorways. Both are a shiny mock croc, she has it in black and she has it in lilac. Now notably, I've noticed she carries the black one especially more during the winter time. We see these with a lot of more layered looks, more formal buttoned up styles of looks. The lilac, although she does carry in winter, we do see it carry over into spring with some more lighter looks, especially when she's wearing purple, which I think Kate looks best in greens and purples. And we see that a lot throughout her lookbook here today. The Mini Mayfair, it is it is a beautiful handbag. It's classically top handle, which really suits her aesthetic. When you're putting your mind in at least a stylist of a royal, you have to think like what's going to be easy to carry. They need to have, you know, hand movement photo op. The bag needs to be a good size, easy to hand off to an assistant nearby for a photo shoot. I think the Mini Mayfair really kind of corners the market for all that she needs it to be. It's very formal, very elegant, very chic and timeless and ladylike, yet it's also a good size. It's not too capacious and she can hand it off good for photo ops. Again, we're going to see a big theme today that that with more of her affordable brands that she carries, she's really true to her British brands and Aspinall of London does that beautifully. It's a really good bag. Now, conversely, to the more buttoned up aesthetic that the Midi Mayfair provides, Kate has also been kind of favoring Demelier recently, and this is a really interesting choice for her. It's a little bit more modern, it's a little bit more clean lined, but I think as she moves away from more fast fashion to more sustainable choices, the Demelier just makes sense. Now with Demelier, they do try and avoid waste, and even any leftovers are given to local apprentice schools so they can learn and test things on the leather. They also offer free lifetime repair hairs on their handbags, which is low-key kind of amazing. And much like the Midi Mayfair, she has two different colorways of the Nano Montreal. She has it in deep toffee, which she wore beautifully with a, a nice, rich, warm, monochromatic look. And she also has it in navy, which she paired with another monochromatic navy look that was absolutely amazing. Even though many of these bags that we're going to see on today's list could be worn crossbody, she's only ever been seen wearing a crossbody bag once, which I get it. I'm not a huge fan of crossbodies, but what I am a fan of is buying in multiple so I completely understand what when you get a good handbag like why reinvent the wheel just buy it in another color and she does. Now another brand that we've seen a lot of on Kate and Meghan Markle is Strathbury. Now Strathbury has really come into popularity recently and undoubtedly the help of the Royals hasn't hurt. Now Strath has Scottish roots and what's really neat with their name Strath which is the wide river valley in Scots and Berry which denotes the berries that were originally used to dye Scottish materials and fabrics hence Strathbury. It's it's really neat because again we're playing with that theme of staying loyal to British brands. With this, we've seen her carry two bags. One, the Mosaic, which is a really cool, if, if you're looking for kind of an affordable version of the Loewe puzzle bag, the Mosaic could be for you. But what my favorite bag from Strathbury that she's carried is the Moultrie's chain wallet, which she kind of made famous. So during COVID, sales were down. So she went to Strathbury. They gifted her, I believe, a Navy mock croc version and immediately sold out. There was a wait list. It wasn't going to be dropped for another six or seven months. And it kind of helped put Strathbury on the map. Now, she also 
has the same chain wallet and vanilla diamond, which she wore beautifully with that polka dot moment, which was really evoking some of Princess Diana's former looks, a little bit of Pretty Woman, and I just love a good 80s over the top polka dot moment, and she nailed it. Now, one brand that has seemed to be a constant staple in Kate's wardrobe and collection is Mulberry, and that should come as no surprise. Hello, British. And one of the bags that she really favors is the mini Seaton, especially in black. This is again another top handle handbag that she carries a lot during the winter time. She paired this beautifully with a green coat and a big over the top fur hat moment, which we all know I'm a fan of, like 100%. My favorite Mulberry bag though in her collection has to be the Harlow bag in slate blue. Now I've tried to find it and again everything is going to be linked down below in case you want to look at these for yourself, but the Harlow in slate blue was just on another level. Very quintessentially, you know, Mulberry. We, we, you know, we have all those design cues there. Again, like all the other things, Kate wore it beautifully. You know, speaking of these more affordable priced options, she also has been seen carrying the number set from Polin. Again, another gorgeous, rich, dark color. What's so interesting to me is in contrast, she, both she and Princess Diana both have impeccable style. I mean, hello, hard not to, but I mean, the, the clothing that they wear is quite beautiful. And even though a lot of the looks that Kate has served over the years are a tribute or kind of a direct link back to Princess Diana's fashion moments. Their handbag collections couldn't be more polar opposites. Now with Diana, we had a lot of Christian Dior, some Chanel, we had a little bit of Salvatore Ferragamo, really beautiful over the top options, which have become staples for many design houses. I mean, like how many Lux houses have a Diana bag, almost all of them, the Gucci, how could we forget about Gucci? But with Princess Kate, she takes more of an affordable, more approachable option with her fashion, which I think is especially important with today's social media. I mean, people are going to be looking up what she's wearing, what she's got on, what she's doing at every single moment and wanting to buy it for themselves. And I think it sends a better message to have a myriad of, of price points and, and designer labels. So that way it's accessible. Everyone can have a little bit of Princess Kate in their wardrobe if they want it. I also think that this approach to affordable, accessible luxury is important, especially as we're, we're kind of holding the monarchy and the royals a little bit more accountable for the spending, where the tax dollars going, things like that. If you all remember, Mary Elizabeth, Her Majesty Queen of Denmark, recently came under fire for having spent over $200,000 on her handbag collection, I think over five years, which, eh, relatable, not, 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 relatable, but I could see how one would do it. Um, this was especially evident after she dropped, I think, 44,000 on her Croc Birkin, which is absolutely stunning, which I don't want to brag, but Her Majesty and I both have the same RL Ricky and RL Gold. She has been photographed so many times carrying this bag. Now, as I'm doing more of these celebrity profiles, I, I try and drop one, one a month. Would Mary Elizabeth, Her Majesty Queen of Denmark, would her collection be something we all want to see? Let me know down in the comments because it is phenomenal. She has impeccable taste. I mean, hello, obviously. <laughs> Princess Kate doesn't just focus on affordable luxury. She has been noticed quite a few times with some higher end brands. Now, most notably, and this might be because my husband and I are tennis fans, him more so than me, I just kind of watch, but Princess Kate has been seen at Wimbledon several times carrying the Dolce & Gabbana Sicily bag in rose pink. Now this bag is still available in this colorway. It's about just over 2000 USD. And she was seen carrying this at the men's and women's final for 2018, the men's final in 2019, this bag must be her lucky tennis charm. I would be interested to see if maybe we hadn't had restrictions and, and everything that happened with COVID, if she would have carried this trend on through the last few years. But this is a bag that she wears beautifully and it's kind of an interesting choice, especially considering that a lot of her other bags are much more smaller. This one for her is a little bit bigger and being that it's more rounded, it does have a little bit more space to fit a bit more. So I'd be interested to see what she's carrying to Wimbledon. That'd be fascinating. Now, I think it's safe to say that Princess Catherine is a bit of a Chanel girl. We've seen her in Chanel quite a few times, whether it be a nod back to Diana or maybe of her own personal taste, but she was first noticed, I think in 2017, carrying that gorgeous burgundy flap top handle. It's an enamel top handle, lots of brass, gold detailing. It is gorgeous. She carries that one quite a bit actually for her Chanel collection. She also has the quintessential wardrobe staple, the walk in black with silver, I believe. And she also has a mini Chanel flap, which staying True to her brand identity, she paired it with a high-low moment. We had the Chanel mini flap paired with the white boucle jacket from Zara. Again, that timeless classic aesthetic, whether she's meeting, working with charities, doing press events, or going to sporting events, she's always stays very true to her brand identity as far as her style and aesthetic goes. But last but not least, I've saved another good one for you guys. 
her Hermes bag. And much like Mary Elizabeth, Kate and I both have the same Rio pochette from Hermes. Now this is the PM size. She has it in red box leather. I have it in the black box leather. Currently this retails pre-owned for about a thousand. It's gone up a little bit in price maybe because she wore it, but she paired this beautifully with another monochromatic outfit moment. We had a big red hat, gorgeous red dress. I believe it might've been for Aska can't remember. She carried it beautifully and I was so excited to see that I, I had a little bit of Kate in my wardrobe, which was kind of exciting. Anyway, guys, I, I hope this was fun for you all. I, I always enjoy doing these little celebrity deep dives and it felt kind of, you know, in the moment to talk about Princess Kate this week. Let me know down in the comments, like what has been your favorite style moment over the years? I mean, she served us so many. It's hard to pinpoint a favorite. I can think of like at least 10 off the top of my head. So let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on Kate's wardrobe, her handbags? Do you have any of these handbags in your collection? I'd be interested to know. Until next time, guys, stay safe, have fun. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.